Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Before going to the video, those who are not subscribed our channel, subscribe it and also click the bell button. In this video, we are going to see about avalanche photodiodes. Avalanche photodiode is a highly sensitive, high speed semiconductor photodiode with internal gain. If you see, the major disadvantage of PN and PIN photodiodes are each photon generates only one pair of electron and cold and there is no internal gain. Hence the output current is small, about 100 microamps. If you amplify the output current after the detector stage, it introduces significant noise in the circuit. Hence we go for avalanche photodiode which has internal gain. Hence there is no need for amplification. Avalanche photodiodes are operated under high reverse bias near the breakdown voltage. The internal gain of these diodes are around 100 and this internal gain is due to impact ionization that is avalanche multiplication effect. The semiconductor materials used for avalanche photodiodes are silicon, germanium, indium gallium arsenide, indium phosphide, gallium nitrate and mercury cadmium telluride. In avalanche photodiodes, two types of photon counting techniques are used. They are Giger mode and sub Giger mode. Giger mode avalanche photodiodes use the single photon counting principle at a voltage little more than the threshold breakdown voltage. At this voltage, even a single electron hole pair is capable of triggering a strong avalanche. In this situation, the quenching circuits reduce the voltage by a fraction of second. This stops the avalanche for a time being and photo detection is possible. Subgregor mode operation is a technique in which an avalanche photodiode is operated at a bias voltage that is lower than the breakdown voltage. Next, let us see the construction of avalanche photodiode. Avalanche photodiode consists of four layers with different doping concentrations. These layers are P plus region, I region, P region and N plus region. Two regions that is the intrinsic or pi region and P region are lightly doped and two regions that is P plus and N plus regions are heavily doped. The intrinsic region is made of lightly doped P type material. The width of the depletion layer in the intrinsic region is thinner in avalanche photodiode when compared with fin photodiode. Avalanche photodiode is operated under high reverse bias condition. That is the negative terminal is connected to anode and positive terminal is connected to cathode. The symbol of avalanche photodiode is similar to Zener diode. Now let us see the typical parameters of commonly used semiconductor materials for avalanche photodiodes. First silicon. The wavelength range of silicon is from 400 to 1100 nanometer. Responsivity is 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 ampere per watt. Dark current is 0 0.1 to 10 nanoamps. Avalanche gain is 20 to 400. For germanium, the wavelength range is 800 to 1600 nanometer. Responsivity is 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 ampere per watt. Dark current is 50 to 500 nanoamps. Avalanche gain is 50 to 200. If for indium gallium arsenide, the wavelength range is from 1100 to 1700 nanometer. Responsivity is 0 0.7 to 1 ampere per watt. Dark current is 0 0.5 to 50 nano ampere. And avalanche gain is 10 to 50. Now let us see the operation or working of avalanche photodiode. When the diode is subjected to high reverse bias voltage, avalanche breakdown takes place. This applied reverse bias voltage 
increases the electric field across the depletion layer. Hence, the incident photons enter the P plus region and it gets further absorbed in the highly resistive P region where the electron and hole pairs are generated. A comparatively weaker electric field separates the electron and hole pairs and these carriers drift with their saturation velocity towards the P n plus junction where a high electric field exists. Since their velocity is maximum, they collide with other atoms and generate new electron hole pairs. This process is called internal gain process. The excess electron hole pair generation due to the collision of charge carriers is called avalanche multiplication. A large number of electron hole pairs results in high photon current. Multiplication factor or current gain is given by m is equal to im by ip. Here im is the average value of total multiplied output current. IP is the photo current before multiplication. The responsivity of avalanche photodiode considering the multiplication factor or current gain is given as RAPD is equal to eta into Q divided by H into F into M. Here eta is the quantum efficiency, Q is the charge of electron, H is the Planck's constant f is the frequency and m is the multiplication factor. The transit time of carrier is a function of depletion width and drift velocity. This transit time is given by the formula Td is equal to W by Vd. W is the depletion width and Vd is the drift velocity. The deductor capacitance is given by C is equal to epsilon into A divided by W. For a uniformly doped junction, the depletion width is given by W is equal to 2 into epsilon into V0 minus VBI divided by Q into ND the whole to the power half. Here, A is the junction area, ND is the active dopant density, V0 is the applied voltage and VBI is the building potential within the depletion layer. Now the capacitance can be found by replacing the depletion with W as 2 into epsilon into V0 by VBI divided by QND the whole power of has C is equal to A divided by 2 into 2q epsilon divided by v0 minus vbi into nd the whole per half. The bandwidth limit for the photo detector is given as bw is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc. R is the resistor and c is the detector capacitance. Next, let us see the advantages of avalanche photodiode. Avalanche photodiode can detect light of low intensity. They have high sensitivity. Here no external amplifier is required because avalanche photodiode has internal gain. A single photon can generate a large number of electron hole pairs due to avalanche multiplication. The disadvantages of avalanche photodiode are a very high reverse voltage is required. Excess noise occurs due to avalanche multiplication process. Here the output is non-linear. This avalanche photodiode has poor temperature stability. Next, let us see the applications of avalanche photodiodes. Avalanche photodiodes are used in receivers in optical fiber communications. They are used in laser range finding and also in imaging, used in high speed laser scanners, laser microscopy and optical time domain reflectometers that is OTDR, they are used in speed gun and also in barcode readers. Next let us see the difference between pin photodiode and avalanche photodiode. First 
fin photodiode has three layers that is P plus region, I region and N plus region. I is the intrinsic region, it is also called as pi region. Next, avalanche photodiode has four layers that is P plus region, intrinsic region, P region and N plus region. In fin photodiode, there is no internal gain but avalanche photodiode has internal gain. Since it has internal gain, there is no need for external amplifier in avalanche photodiode. But pin photodiode, it requires an external amplifier. The response time of pin photodiode is less. But the response time for avalanche photodiode is more. The output current in pin photodiode is low. That is IP is equal to Q into NE. Here Q is the charge of electron and N is the density of carriers. In avalanche photodiode, the output current is high. That is IP is equal to Q into NE into M. M is the multiplication factor or current gain. In pin photodiodes, the sensitivity is less. In avalanche photodiode, the sensitivity is high. Pin photodiodes require low reverse bias voltage but avalanche photodiodes require high reverse bias voltage for avalanche effect to occur. In pin photodiode, noise level is low. The different noises in pin photodiodes are short noise, photon noise, Johnson noise and generation recombination noise. In avalanche photodiodes, the noise level is high because of avalanche effect. The different noises in avalanche photodiodes are short noise, thermal noise and avalanche. Pin photodiodes have good temperature stability but avalanche photodiodes have poor temperature stability. Now let us see the previous year's questions. First question match the following type. This question was asked in December 2014. First LED. We know that in LED spontaneous emission occurs. Next avalanche photodiode. It has internal current gain. Next tunnel diode. It is heavily doped. Next laser. We know that in laser coherent radiation occurs. Hence, option C is the correct answer. Next question. This question was asked in July 2018. A good silicon avalanche photodiode has a capacitance of 5 picofarad with negligible dark current and is operating with a photo detection bandwidth of 15 MHz. The photo current before gain is given by 10 to the power minus 7 amps. The operating temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. The value of load resistor to be connected with avalanche photodiode is given by option A 536.5 ohm, option B 636.5 ohm, option C 835.5 ohm, option D 83.5 ohm. We know that the formula for bandwidth in avalanche photodiode is bandwidth is equal to 1 by 2 pi RC. For hence we can find the load resistor from this the value of load resistor is equal to 1 by 2 pi into bandwidth into capacitance. Substituting bandwidth is equal to 50 into 10 to the power 6 and capacitance is equal to 5 into 10 to the power minus 12 that is pico. We have the resistance value as 636.6 ohm. Hence, option B is the correct answer. Next question. This question was asked in December 2018. It is matched the following type. First, Foster Sealy Discriminator. We know that this detector is used in FM signal. Next, Envelope Detector. It is used in AM wave, that is Amplitude Modulated Wave. Next, Avalanche Photodiode Detector. We know that APD is used in optical fiber communication. Next, 
fin photo diode next pin diode it is used in microwave applications hence option c is the correct answer thanks for watching the video for more videos don't forget to subscribe our channel